starting the very first day of break, we went to the Dominican Republic for a week-long trip where we immersed ourselves in the culture as well as playing baseball against uh, the local clubs down there. And we first started off by playing um, a Dominican, Dominican Air Force team and they were, it was very neat playing at that field because it was just like, it was kind of, I mean, for their standards it was still really nice, but it was a pretty beat up field. And uh, getting to play with them, uh, who didn't, you know, obviously most people down there did not speak much English, it was a very interesting experience, so that was fun. And then after that we went on to play um, the Dominican uh, affiliates of some major league teams like the New York Yankees, the Houston Astros, the Baltimore Orioles, and the Chicago White Sox. On our off day, we took a catamaran, catamaran trip to uh, uh, an island. It was awesome, the island. They filmed part of, the, of a Pirates of the Caribbean there, I was told, so it was beautiful. Uh, we got to walk around the beach, you know, throw the football around, you know, just experience the uh, Dominican Republic culture down there. I was probably both the best and the worst dancer. Uh, I was one of the very few that got to participate in the catamaran dance where it was like, I don't know, it was like nine minutes long. And it was like me, uh, Duchesne, Malazzo, Gray, I believe, and a few more, but it was definitely, Duchesne was pretty wild during it. I would, he, he was a little out of control. I was more, a little more composed, I would say. We got the chance to visit for the better half of a day, um, an orphanage down there in Dominican Republic. And again, to interact with the kids who don't speak English, but you know, they're in this orphanage, which was a nice area, but um, just to get to interact with them and see what it's like down there. Um, I know I personally, I tried to teach them. I didn't know if they knew uh, paper, scissors, rock, or other simple games that didn't essentially, you know, need to speak to them to teach them. And it was fun to um, play that with them and stuff like that and just interact with them. The trip to the orphanage, I definitely will say, was the best part. That made the trip all worth it. You know, after, it, after going back, we wish we could have stayed longer. But I remember we were there for around two, two and a half hours. And uh, I was playing basketball with the kids for the whole entire time, and they took it as a competitive game. They didn't, they didn't want to lose. And so, yeah, it wasn't like a fun, friendly game of basketball. It was competitive. People were dunking on each other. I know Mam like threw down a few dunks. I could do it better, obviously. But uh, yeah, it was a, a great time. People were playing kickball, I heard, and uh, volleyball, and the kids were having a great time until where we that I got to go to another country because of baseball and, uh, you know, could go to an orphanage where uh, it was kind of eye-opening to see how they lived and how good we have it here. And uh, to be able to play with those kids for a few hours definitely was a memorable experience. Unless I had this experience to go there, I would not have known what it was really like, you know, seeing where the people, how they, how they react with other people. Just the housing was different, um, the food, the cooking. Um, everything you could think about it was very different from what we did except for the game of baseball which was I found one of the more interesting things it, it almost felt like you're in a different world except we have this common connection in the game of baseball which I thought was pretty neat.